without with This is where I do smart things and this is where I do other things. Hey, what did you think? I sleep there. So this is my home desk setup slash YouTube studio slash bedroom and you can really do a lot with a small space. Yes, it sometimes feels like it's impossible. I had to move things around multiple times to make this work, but I think we came to the right arrangement and this is how it looks. So let's just jump right in. And I'm here at my desk where all the magic happens and we're gonna focus on the desk setup and the YouTube studio setup which is not much but we're gonna get into that and we're gonna start with this bad boy here it's an HP Envy I don't know exactly which one I will put it on the screen but it's about five years old by now worked great still works great but if i'm using it for like heavy duty stuff like editing and i have multiple tabs open it's lagging and it's frustrating and it's making my life so much harder than it should be <laughs> I bought it when I was learning to do graphic design. It was very powerful. Uh, it runs a Windows 10 Home Edition. There's not much I can say about It's okay. It works. It's fine. We're not gonna say anything about Windows. Moving on. <laughs> Okay, let's talk a little bit about this desktop. It's an HP 24-inch FW with audio. Yes, it has speakers inbuilt. I love the design of it. It has micro edge display. Basically, you can see the image on the whole display. You don't lose image real estate, I would say. It's beautiful. It basically matches. I think that was one of the reasons why I bought it back in Cyprus. One of the reasons. Because it has an aluminum aesthetic and it matches basically my life top and it's also the same brand so I said why not right go with the same brand it's amazing and I'll think I'll buy it again if they don't discontinue it and if this one dies <laughs> I will definitely buy it again now let's move on a little bit on the stand so the desktop sits on this stand. it's a bamboo stand they say it's bamboo but I highly doubt that this is bamboo I love it but I also have a little bit of something that I don't like about kind of thing it's a bit too low and it's also not wide enough I wish it was wider so I could put other things on top of it because then I would have less clutter on my desk I love I love the the color of the wood it makes the, the, the space so much warmer with the aluminium and the plant and the lights and the white of the desk it's just beautiful it's very aesthetic I bought it from Amazon I will have links for all or at least most of the things that I'm talking about in the description below so if you want to check it out feel free next is this keyboard oh my god this keyboard is garbage I will not even mention the name of the brand because I don't want you to to buy it it came together with a mouse which died of course it was garbage i still use it because somehow i like the aesthetic and i i really got used to it i had some issues with it because if you can see some of the some of the keys i had to write on them what they are because when you're typing you don't get the key that it shows on the, the keyboard basically so i had to like guess and test all the keys to see which one was what and imagine i bought it when i was studying web development and for web development you need to know your keys you need to use a lot of symbols and it was such a pain in the ass so i replaced that garbage mouse with a logitech mouse this was a hand-me-down from my hubby i think it's okay what i love the most about this mouse is side bottom button it's called a gesture button which you can set to do a lot of things you can go in the interface of logitech and just set whatever setting you want from there for example to open the calendar when you press the button or to give you a virtual desktop which i have it i have it set for that yeah you can switch between pages tabs which is pretty handy which the other mouse 
didn't do. I think this is okay for now. Uh, I'll be probably replacing this as well in time. It seems like I'm, I need to replace a lot of my gear. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about this little fan here. This little guy here saved my ass this summer because as we've all known and felt and experienced this summer has been extremely hot and in germany we don't have ac so you can imagine it gets very freaking hot and it saved my face from melting on multiple occasions on multiple days it does a job really well Okay, let's talk lights, shall we? Because I have multiple lights on my desk as well as around me. So I have three lamps, including, no, excluding the studio light. With the studio light, I have four lights around me. I have two lights on my desk. One is a ring light, it's from Koda. I think this is a great buy. The height is adjustable to 65 centimeters. It also has two settings for the light, warm and cold, as well as they are dimmable. It's great. I also use it when it's cloudy outside or gloomy. I just turn it on and I, it just gives me a nice vibe. I think it like, I feel like I have the sun on my face. <laughs> Okay, let's talk a little bit about the light that I have behind the desktop and also the lamp that is standing on the floor. The floor lamp is from Ikea. I chose to change the bulbs because I wanted to give this space a different vibe. I didn't want to be boring, just like the same boring light surrounding my life. I wanted to be something nice also for the YouTube videos to give it a very nice atmosphere. Like, look at it, this is beautiful, right? So the lights are smart Wi-Fi lights, which can be controlled from a app only. There's no remote control. All in all, I'm really happy with these lights actually the, the bulbs do more than just change the light to different colors they also have a normal light that the standard bulb would have the warm and cold light as well as an on and off timer for the light you can set the light to turn on and off at whatever time you want which i tested and it works which is freaking great i love that i love that so much all right i think it's time to talk a little bit about the desk and the chair which are the basic things that you need for an office. So this desk is from Ikea, as is the, the chair. Pretty standard, nothing special. All in all, I think it's pretty good. The top is very nice. That's the job, I guess. Now, the chair. I've had this chair for about two years now. It's a nice chair. It's pretty ergonomic. As I said, it's from Ikea. It's not the cheapest chair you would get from there. I think it was upwards to 200 euro. And as for the YouTube studio, I have the phone basically standing on a tripod and I have a studio box light which is lighting me. I also have a microphone. I think that's it. So I have a webcam that I'm, I use for calls with clients. It's pretty interesting to be honest. It uses AI to track your face movements or your body movements in the shot. So if you move, the camera moves with you sort of. So you are always in shot. It also has like a wide angle. It is very pricey in my opinion. It, I did not buy it myself. It was a present so I'm not gonna say that you should buy it but it's an amazing camera i think that's it guys thank you for watching and i, I hope you got something from this video thank you very much and i'll see you next time bye guys